Hello, everyone. Welcome. Um, can we tell if they can hear me? Um, can everybody hear us okay? Uh, Is there a chat so people can say yes? <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Thank yes. You. Okay. Fantastic. Great. Thank you. All right. And welcome. It's four o'clock. We want to start on time. Uh, David Rind and I are here to welcome you to the new monthly webinar series um, from it's based on the book series just fairly recently published earlier in this year by World Scientific, uh, which is called Our Warming Planet. First, I want to thank the CC Run, uh, which is, uh, stands for the Consortium for Climate Risk in the Urban Northeast, which is a NOAA-funded RESA program for regional integrated science and assessment. Um, there is a hub of CC, one of the NOAA hubs, uh, RESA hubs, is here um, at uh, Columbia University. Uh, we are sitting right now in the Goddard Institute for Space Studies, uh, part of Goddard Space Flight Center down in Maryland, but we're up here in New York. Now we are going to learn how to advance. <laughs> Let's say enter. Yes. Okay. Very good. Um, so, this um, volume, this book, uh, that we are going to be sharing with you in the, um, in, the, in the coming months, all the way till July, is in honor of David Rind, our, our um, distinguished colleague here at GIS. And um, the way that the book was done was we asked David's colleagues and uh, former students, and maybe some current students, uh, to um, make a contribution based on their passion of uh, their climate research. And um, so all of this is um, in honor of David, of David Rind. And we wanted just to pull one quote from, there are many wonderful quotes about David in the book, but we wanted to pull one uh, from, uh, uh, we call him Robin, Robin Webb, uh, who is at uh, the NOAA Earth Systems Research Laboratory in Colorado. But this is such a wonderful quote, that David Ryan's legacy is not only that he has done great science, or that he is an intellectual mentor for an impressive number of very successful scientists but that he is an inspirational role model for how to be a scient as well. And so throughout this webinar series, you're going to get, you're going to, you're going to have um, examples of how uh, 20 people um, uh, have uh, taken up uh, that, those, uh, David's inspiration. So just a little bit more about um, the, um, what, what's in the webinar series and, um, and how uh, this, uh, this what, what really it contains. So first of all, I wanna thank the uh, co-editors. Uh, David and I um, started the project, but we quickly brought in um, Andrew, Andy Lasis, a scientist here at GIS, and Danielle Manley who is a uh, program coordinator um, as in part of the Climate Impacts Group at GIS. And we also want to thank our publishers at World Scientific, including Zvi Ruder, um, who is our um, senior editor there. So what this is uh, that we're, you're gonna, we're gonna be sharing with you is a new type of textbook. Instead of chapters, which everyone now doesn't have time to write, we now, this book is composed of 20 lectures on climate change, each with a five page text uh, discussion, followed by 20 slides and the slides have notes. It's available in both hard copy and digitally. 
Um, and in the downloadable di digital version, and this was very much the idea, the PowerPoint slides are then available and encouraged to be used uh, in the classroom. And so our hope is, is that professors, teachers, and students all around the world can be um, utilizing this research. It, it was, you can, another um, aspect of, of of the volume, as, as you'll see when, as, when we look to see uh, the schedule for the coming year, is that it accesses information on many subjects associated with climate change, not often found in the same text. So while there are quite a few on physical science and climate dynamics, um, because here at GIST we really interact with impact science as well, we have um, a much broad, we have a broad range of topics that are going to be part of the webinar. Um, so every, the third Tuesday of, the schedule is that the third Tuesday of every month, there will be one to three webinar presentations from four to six, and this is the first one. So I'm not going to read all the fine print of the schedule, but here's the schedule. Um, uh, and uh, you'll see the wonderful group of distinguished scientists um, who are going to be part, who are going to participate and give lectures and uh, webinar presentations in the, um, in the series. And you can see the wide range of topics from building a climate model from Gary Russell to the role of clouds um, to um, um, soil moisture in the climate system, storm, how will storms and storm track change. There's lots of very, very, uh, very important topics that are still, uh, actually, who are still, I think, just even today with Hurricane Florence. Um, you know, these topics are extremely real and relevant um, in regard to our climate system as it, as it changes. Um, that was the September to uh, early February. You can see we're going to have drought, lightning, polar sea ice coverage, uh, sea level rise, um, uh, 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 atmospheric uh, air quality with, um, with uh, chemistry, atmospheric chemistry, uh, radiation, and uh, the final one will be on, uh, the, on education and uh, the broad outreach um, with the educational GCM. So thank you again to all the authors, first of all, who, um, who so wonderfully participated in the project and also for their participation in the web webinar to come. I think there's just, I think this was the last one, just a little bit more about the book. Um, and it's uh, so that uh, everyone knows that this, we, we hope that this book can be a model for other groups um, who would like to um, perhaps do something for one of their um, honored colleagues. Um, so this one we say is the first in the series of, um, of lectures on climate change. It is, I would say, the most painless way of doing something like this. Um, and because we all know how much work a, a book actually is. Um, so we view this as first in this series and others are welcome. So if anyone would like to, uh, would be interested in um, doing a volume in the series, please be in touch with, with us and we will help you. <laughs>